Ezekiel chapter 11. Um, let's ask the Lord to prepare our hearts before we read His Word here. Dear Lord in Heaven, um, exactly that. Prepare our hearts to listen to Your Word. Um, and we, we as saints sometimes forget that uh, Your Word is flawless. Your Word is holy. Your Word is upright. Your Word is valid. And your word slices the uh, the the bread perfectly, and there's no there's no linen in the bread. There's no leaven, not linen. Leaven, I meant Lord, leaven in the bread, and and that it's perfectly perfectly cut for for people to take if they want. They want if they want eternal life. It's simple as coming to you for it. We as saints can't give another person eternal life. Only your 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 power, your glory, and your honor, Lord, because you reside in heaven, and us saints here are just your vessels. Brother Attila, Brother Greg, Brother Marcus, Brother Michael, Sister Dana, um, all these brothers and sisters of mine. Brother, I can't remember my brother's name. <laughs> brother, a lot of brothers to remember, but there's some brothers. Brother Daniel, there you go, okay. Um, brother Daniel 777 seven, seven is another brother of mine. We are all saints of God here. We are all helping you, Lord, to, uh, to, to, uh, you know, your kingdom's sake. And uh, we do this for your kingdom. We don't do this for, you know, uh, any but anything else. Um, not for, you know, for the church. The church is just another tool that we have. We're not. We, yeah, sure, we are committed to the church, but we're committed to you above the church. So we need. We need to realize our loyal. Our loyalty does not rely in the church. It relies in you. That's where our loyalty should go to. Because you are the owner of all churches, no matter what denomination they are. You're coming for your church so soon, Lord. You, your rapture is coming very soon. Are we ready? Are we getting the, sa the other brothers and sisters and other saints ready for this? Our, our affairs rely in the church. Affairs outside the church don't matter. We're not, we're not to get involved in civilian affairs. We are soldiers of your cross. Period. There's no, there's nothing, there's nothing to, to, uh, talk about outside of that. Everything, everything, all our business is inside the church, and, and uh, the affairs of the church is our business. And your, your word is our business. So, Lord, let, let that be known to the whole world as I am praying to you right now. I say this in your mighty if, before I end this prayer, Lord, just be with me as I read Ezekiel ch chapter 11 as well. In your mighty name, Yeshua, Amen. Here we go. We are in Ezekiel chapter 11. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the house gate of Yahweh's house, which looks eastward. Behold, Twenty-five men were at the door of the gate. And I saw among them Jezaniah, the son of Azor, and Palatai, Palatai, and the son of Beniah, princes of the people. He said to me, Son of man, these are the men who devise iniquity and who give wicked counsel in the city, who say, This time is not near to build houses. This is the cauldron, we, and we are the meat. Therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, Son of Man, Yahweh's Spirit fell on me. And he said to me, Speak, Yahweh says, Thus you have said, House of Israel, for I know, for I know the things that come into your mind. You have multiplied your slain, in this city, and you have filled the streets with the slain. Therefore the Lord Yahweh says, 
your slain whom you laid in the middle of it. They are the meat. This is the cauldron. But you will be brought out of the middle of it. You have feared the sword, and I will bring the sword on you, says the Lord. Yahweh. So in a sense, if you fear something, it's most likely going to eat you. So you shouldn't fear nothing. The only thing you should be fearing is Yahweh, which is God, and His Son, Yeshua. That's what you should be fearing. If you fear those things, you should be okay. You shouldn't fear another man here. That's what he's saying here. Don't care, don't care who you are. You shouldn't fear, fear no man, but fear God. That's what that's that's the teaching here. Because it says in it says in Matthew, don't don't fear death itself, but fear the one that can throw your soul into hell's fire. Fear yeah, fear that guy. You should fear him. <laughs> okay, that's Jesus. He's the only one that has that power over every man and woman. He has that power. He's gonna decide everybody. Nobody's going to get one through him, or above him, or behind him. He's going to be like, he's going to examine you. He's going to be like, this is a goat in the, in the flames. This is a sheep. He comes with me. That's it. <laughs> they're, all the goats, they're all going to the flames. All the sheep go with him. He's the shepherd. <laughs> you know? So, what is you? So, what are you going to tell... Tell Jesus, oh, I believe in Buddha. I believe in Allah. Oh, I believe in whatever crap, you know, whatever you, your philosophy.